Welcome to ABC Tutorial. Today we are going to talk about the stages of labor. Stages of labor are the series of events that occur from the onset of labor to the delivery of the fetus and placenta. Labor is generally said to be in three stages. The first stage occurs when the cervix becomes fully dilated to allow for the passage of uterine contents. The second stage involves the passage of the fetus through the birth canal and the eventual delivery of the fetus. The third stage involves the delivery of the placenta. The first stage of labor is said to occur from the diagnosis of labor to free cervical dilation. The cervix is said to be fully dilated when the cervical opening is 10 cm. The cervix also becomes fully effaced at the first stage of labor. Cervical effacement refers to the thinning of the cervix during labor, that is, the reduction in length of the cervix from the internal hose to the external hose. It is measured in percentage, with 100% described as paper thin cervical effacement. Cervical dilation is the opening of the cervical hose. It is usually measured in centimeters, with 10 centimeters representing full cervical dilation. In summary, when the cervix dilates, it opens up, and when the cervix effaces, it thins out. Membrane rupture often occurs prior to or in the first stage of labor. The first stage of labor can be further subdivided into two phases, the latent phase and the active phase. The latent phase is the time of cervical dilation from 0 cm to 4 cm. The cervix also becomes fully effaced at the latent phase of the first stage of labor. It usually lasts for 6 to 8 hours, although it may last up to 24 hours. The active phase is the stage when the cervical dilates from 4 cm to 10 cm. The cervical dilation occurs at the rate of 1 cm per hour in primigravida and the rate of 2 cm per hour in multigravida. However, the cervical dilation rate of greater than 0.5 cm per hour is generally acceptable. This stage can last up to 12 hours. The second stage of labor occurs from full cervical dilation to the delivery of the fetus. It is divided into the passive and active phase. The passive phase occurs from full cervical dilation to when the fetal presenting part reaches the pelvic floor. This lasts for a duration of one hour. Why the active phase occurs from the time when the fetal presenting part reaches the pelvic floor to the delivery of the baby. The active phase also lasts for a duration of one hour. The third stage of labor occurs from the delivery of the fetus to the delivery of the placenta. It lasts between 10 minutes to 30 minutes. The placenta is usually delivered as a result of uterine contraction and uterine retraction, which leads to the separation of placenta from the uterine wall. The signs of placenta separation in the third stage of labor include lengthening of the umbilical cord, a gush of blood per vaginal, the uterus becoming more globular, and the fundus of the uterus being palpable in the abdomen above the umbilicus. The active management of the third stage of labor involves the administration of oxytocin and controlled cord traction, also referred to as Brandt Andrews method. A stage of labor referred to as the fourth stage of labor is often described to occur after the delivery of the placenta. It lasts for a duration of about one to two hours after delivery of the placenta. This stage involves the monitoring of the physiological changes that usually occur after delivery. Monitoring the vital signs of the mother, monitoring for postpartum bleeding, and also monitoring the rate of uterine involution. 